All right, folks. Um, first of all, God bless all you guys and and get ready. Uh, this is going to be a a complete, absolute brain shocker. I mean, this is just going to blow your mind right here. Anyway, the Lord wouldn't let me go to sleep tonight until I did this. I was praying with a friend on the phone, and the um, the supernatural confirmations uh, were just continuing. Now, listen before I say any other word. I am not picking a date. I'm not telling anyone this is going to happen on any date. But I am telling you it's going to happen. No matter what, it's going to happen. Because what I'm about to show you goes back all the way to when the Lord told me to come out for public ministry, which was in 2008. Um, he told me it's time that you, you go public he gave me a prophetic utterance, and um, that prof prophetic utterance is about to be realized. He even confirmed it uh, with me, with a friend in prayer on the phone, a 100% supernatural confirmation. Remember what the Bible says. The Bible says the Lord makes the, you know, the words of his messengers come true. So if I'm not God's messenger, then the stuff I tell you won't happen. But, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, misquote and, and, and mis, misstate things. I absolutely guarantee you New York, New York City will be destroyed by nukes and water. I guarantee you the Hoover Dam will be destroyed. I guarantee it. It's printed on the U.S. currency. Now, what I'm about to show you is the cumulative effect of all this stuff that I've been showing you about the sheep, you know, how many times have I shown you sheep, you know, um, we're going to look at those for a second, but I want to show you what's going on. This is an art project that's going on in New York right now. It's from December 1st, 2016 through December 30th, 2016. It's called Midnight Moment Counting Sheep. It's going on all month. Midnight Moment Counting Sheep. Now, I'm telling you, there is a moment coming where that, in you know, where the midnight moment gets here, and that's when all hell breaks loose on this planet. I guarantee it. And Satan knows it. You know, I show y'all. Come on, guys. Just... I show y'all how he telegraphs it in everything. I mean, I just showed you the Ian Bud Light commercial. Seriously, who could have shown you what all that means? I can't. The Lord can, though. The Lord can use me to show you what it means. You know, what all the esoteric meaning is of all that stuff that was in the Ian Bud Light, you know, especially, you know, Kelly Female Warrior. Um, so anyway... Let me show you what's going on, and I want to read this very slowly. I want you to pay attention. And then I'm going to break this down for you, and we're going to go back, and I'm going to show you, wow, this looks like it's a perfect slam dunk. Now, again, I'm going to say it again. I'm not picking a date, but I'm definitively saying it's going to happen. I've been saying that for a while, though. So here we go. You ready? This is an art project that's going on in New York. We're going to also watch the video that the guy did. Um, this guy, as I listen to him speak, I can absolutely assure you that what is speaking through him is a spirit. And it is not God's spirit. It is not the Lord God. It is what is controlling him. What is coming out of his mouth? I can recognize it. Absolutely. Okay, now let's read this article together. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Oh, by the way, I will give you a show note link because we put all this stuff in a show note link. And, you know, guys, remember, if I, if I go up here and I show you this and I forget to put it in there, 
you can pause the video right now at the five minute three second mark and you can type this into your your address bar you know if i forget to put the link a lot of people are like oh you never put a link uh well when i load a video up i leave the house sometimes and it takes hours to load up and then when i'm not there i can't go in and fill out the field you know of all the information if i'm not here when the video loads up you understand so a lot of times video lo videos load up and there is no link available because I haven't even come home and seen that it's been loaded up yet. But you can, you can, you can take a moment just to type that in right there and you can get this entire show now link. Okay. So this is what we put together for this. Okay, here we go. Let's, now let me show you right here in the show note link. It says Times Square Counting Sheep Midnight Moment. That's what it's called. Count Times Square, which is New York. Counting Sheep Midnight Moment. Sound a little weird? Yeah. Uh, December 16th Midnight Moment. Counting Sheep by Tal Yarden. That's a YouTube link. Flocks of Sheep Seven Stories Tall. At the crossroads of the world. Really? That's cryptic. I guarantee you that's cryptic. Flocks of sheep, seven stories tall, at the crossroads of the world. That's Lucifer saying what he's going to do to y'all, to the sheep. And then we have the Time Machine uh, movie clip because I want to remind you guys what this is all about. Then we have the U.S. currency from the show notes where you can look at all the U.S. currency that I've you know shown you all in Decrypted. We have the Sheep page from the show notes. And then we have the Just a Messenger series, which is the very first thing I did um, when the Lord called me out to public ministry in 2008 when I prophesied. Okay, get ready guys because this is serious. This is straight up in your face. Straight up in your face. So Lucifer is saying he's going to kill all the sheep. Okay, now let's read it right here. We'll start with this one. Times Square Arts Projects Midnight Moment Counting Sheep. Times Square Arts presents a visual lullaby. Remember, arise, O oh sleeper, wake up from the dead, because you're asleep, everybody. For the city and filmmaker and theatrical video artist Tal Yarns, counting sheep on Times Square's electronic billboards from 11.57 p.m. to midnight throughout December. This project is a part of Midnight Moment, a monthly presentation by the Times Square's Advertising Coalition. This is this is all satanic. Just I I can literally feel it. Watch. For the year's end, counting sheep shepherds us into a soothing American pastiche wow let's look at that again you know i break down commercials for you and i show you that the meaning of everybody's name is significant like kelly female female warrior like ian gift from god like don don Cheadle to put on everything is significant for the years in counting sheep shepherds us into a soothing american pastiche do y'all know what pastiche means? Pastiche. Yeah. Pastiche means a parody right there. It is a parody. It is an artistic work in a style that imitates that of another work, artist, or period. Um, it's an imitation. It's a parody or a takeoff. Uh, do y'all know what a parody is? A parody is a mockery that's what a parody is 
if you're if you're doing a parody on something like the Simpsons do all the time, they're really mocking something by making fun of it. That's what a uh, a parody is. It's an imitation of a style of a particular writer, artist, or genre with deliberate exaggeration for comical effect. It is a mockery. That's what the, you're you're making fun of them. That's what you're doing. Your your a parody is making fun of something. A pastiche is a parody. Pastiche. A pastiche is a parody. Remember that. Let's go back. Okay. For the year's end, counting sheep shepherds us into a soothing American mockery. That's what it is. A soothing American mockery. Let's just watch this one. Can you tell me what's happening here? Well, my sources are no longer fully annotated and my information is somewhat anecdotal. But I believe what was once one race is now two. One above and one below. Two distinct species that have evolved. And how do those below survive? That is the real question, isn't it? Like a mockery like that. This guy, I mean, who would know what they're, they're even talking about? He's winking at the little boy and he's bleeding like a sheep. Psalm 35, 19 says, Neither let them that hate me without cause wink maliciously. Hmm. Okay, let's go back. Pay attention. For the years in, counting sheep shepherds us into a soothing American mockery of expansive Wyoming landscapes. The film follows the Meeky Brothers octogenarian sheep ranchers. Do y'all know what an octogenarian is? I do. An octogenarian is somebody over 80, but this is cryptic. Uh, the film follows the Meeky Brothers octogenarian sheep ranchers through the arc of the year's natural seasons. Octogenarian is someone over 80, but I'll tell you what. That is something very different. Uh, in the occult, the octagon represents the ultimate balance between the material and invisible forces, male and female. It is the, literally, the octagon is the number one occult number. The occult meaning of number eight. It is occult high number for creation. That's what the octagon means in the occult. That's it. So when we're reading this article, watch out. Uh, the film follows Mikey Brothers octogenarian has duplicitous meaning sheep ranchers through the ark. Oh, you mean like, kind of like Lucifer coming through or kind of like the Arch of Titus there in Washington of the year's natural seasons for the winter fields to the Bighorn Mountains in summer before trailing home in the fall. So they're saying, yeah, they're going to follow all these sheep on their little quest, but the words are cryptic. A Yarden, a seminal video artist who, seminal, Artist who recently designed a video for the Crucible on Broadway. They're get this is all cryptic. They're, you know what Crucible is all about? When you're put in a crucible, you're put to the test. Uh, it shall be put in the crucible for its last trine in the furnace. So when you put anything in the crucible, that means you're getting ready to put them in for a burning, scorching test. Okay, so designed for the video Crucible on Broadway. And David Bowie's Lazarus. Oh, wow. So, you know, he's bringing up stuff this guy's done, but it's all cryptic. First began filmmaking the Mikey Brothers and their herds to create a backdrop for the opera of Brokeback Mountain in Madrid. Do you think when they nuke New York, it's going to break the back of the American people? 
Do you think it's going to break everyone's spirit that thought Donald Trump was going to come in and save the day? It's going to break the back of the country. Now, a work with its origins in theater spills into streets and scenes. Look at this. Okay. Now, a work with its origins in theaters spills out into the streets and screens of Times Square. Even as it immerses one of the world's most urbanized environments. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Because you know what? The $10 bill that I showed you guys, it shows New York City being immersed. One of the most urbanized. There it is. See the $10 bill with the tidal wave covering the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven story building. Remember, water as high as the walls of Jerusalem. And this just happens to be a seven story building on here. Oh, flocks of sheep, seven stories tall at the crossroads of the world. <laughs> That's not cryptic. Let me show you your $10 bill again. Do you think there will be flocks of sheep seven stories tall when water goes racing through New York City from nukes going off? What a neat headline, huh? Let me show you the $100 bill real quick. Then we'll get back to this. Oh, you mean like on the $100 bill that I showed you, I think in yesterday's video, where the water's coming through the archway, the Arch of Washington. Oh, like New York being destroyed by nukes? Like right there on the $100 bill? You know what? I'm gonna take my time on this video. I feel the Lord just leading me right now. I. I I just feel it. It's a hundred dollar bill. Nuclear devastation. This is what's coming, folks. I guarantee it. Wow. You don't know me, but I paid to get this message on here to warn you. Maybe you've heard. Guys, y'all have been watching. There's a nuke in the back. Let's go there. Urgent, viral, get it out. It's coming, I guarantee it. The prophetic utterance the Lord gave me in 2007. It is, many of those things have already happened. This is the end of it. Get ready. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, the hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you. And out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind. Water as high as the walls. Of okay, now listen. I want you to understand. These are words that came out of my mouth that the Lord God gave me as a prophetic utterance. And it literally describes what is printed on our $10 bill as a cryptic image of New York being destroyed by water. So the words coming out of my mouth match what's hidden on the U.S. currency. Go figure. Lord gave me the words. Jerusalem shall cover the city by the sea, and great shall be the destruction of that city. War. Here is the new okay. $100 bill. The tin has been turned upside down. Anyone that watches my ministry should know what that means. Here come contrails of missiles right here. Here's a contrail of a missile coming in, exploding. Coming in from this side right here, exploding. The reason I'm showing it to you on this is because once you put it in a higher resolution, it's difficult to see. But with the naked eye, here again. 
in is the control coming in, missile exploding. This is going to be New York City, and you're going to see the water coming through now after. That. Looks like it's finally here. See the buildings right here. See the buildings right here? Okay, you see all this um, ink right here that makes the unidirectional lines? There's darker ink in certain spots. You'll see it. Okay, these unidirectional lines is movement towards the subject, which is us. As I, as I change the magnification, you're going to see all of this. All of this is going to turn to waves coming in from those nukes that went down, and they're going to be destroying the city. Watch. Here it so, there it is. See it? so water, see? see okay, so here comes all this water that's just racing in. Okay, racing through between the buildings of the city, and you know because it's a nuclear blast. Now, as the ink changes, as the layers of ink change, the buildings disintegrate. Watch, this is amazing. I mean, this is really amazing freaking artwork that they got the layers of ink in here to change under magnification, literally to show buildings freaking disintegrating and water blasting between the buildings. Watch. It's all fluffy. Boom. Look at that. Three layers. Look at it. Do it again. Why? See how it gets all fluffy? There, there, Boom. and there. there Look at is. that. Buildings being wiped out. There it is. See the water? That's water. I'm going to go back. Look. There it is. Now picture the water coming at you. Boom. Boom. Now watch. Okay, so. Here comes all this water, which is printed on your $10 bill and your $100 bill. And there's an image of what it's going to look like ripping through between the, all the buildings in New York. Think of all the sheep now. Now let's go back and read this thing again. Let's go back. Okay, now a word. they're talking about this art project. of See all the sheep? We're going to get into this. Just keep watching. So this, this article is talking about this big art thing that's going on on all these electronic billboards all over New York, and it's called uh, Midnight Moment Counting Sheep. They're telling you that the, the midnight moment has come, you know, where the clock strikes 12 and boom, that's it. Now, am I saying it's New Year's Eve? No, I'm not. Am I saying it's New Year's Day? No. They're just saying that the time has come. Do I believe it could happen today, tomorrow? Absolutely it could. It can happen any second now. Jerusalem's been divided, folks. They voted on it. It's over. Now, keep watching. Look at this. So, midnight moment, counting sheep. Let's go read that again. Now, a work with its origins in theater spills out into the streets and the screens of Times Square, even as it immerses one of the world's most urbanized environments. Well, let's go back and... That's Satan, cryptically. There it is. As it immerses, let's, let's look at that picture. And I'll just remember, as it immerses one of America's most urbanized environments, as it spills over. Let's go look at those words again. I'm going to try. Okay, now a work, you know, which is this counting sheep thing with its origin in theaters, because it originally originated there i guess it spills out into the streets and screens look at those words spills out into the streets and the screens of times square even as it immerses one of the world's most urbanized now picture the water coming at you boom boom Boom, boom, devastation. Let me show you what's going to precipitate that. Okay, there it is, folks. That is going to happen. And here's a here's the way you know it's going to happen. 
Because they already printed the other bombings on the U.S. currency, and they all happened. And I mean, the Lord let me prove it. Y'all know that when I say prove it, I hope y'all have figured out by now. If I tell you the Lord let me prove it, you know he let me prove it. it there is not even a question. It's dumb. Okay, let's see what these guys are up to. So it's going to spill out into the, and it's going to immerse one of the world's most urbanized environments. What is, oh, this whole thing of sheep. Well, let's just see what it is. Okay. Golly, that's just crazy. Let's look at the New York Times. Flocks of sheep. This is a headline. This this is this is a freaking headline from the New York Times. Another, this is a separate story about the same art deal going on. See, here it is up on these big billboards. See all the sheep? We're going to watch a video in just a sec. Flocks of sheep, seven stories tall, at the crossroads of the world. They're saying this is the crossroads where the world, this is where the whole thing goes south. That's what they're saying. Flocks of sheep. Uh, I wonder if the water matches the $10 bill. It will be flocks of sheep, seven stories stories tall, because guess what? There'll be people floating all over the top of that water. And on this $10 bill, it just happens to be seven stories tall with a tidal wave coming over. So look, here is the line right here of the ground. You know that because this line and these thick lines, that represents a reflection in water from this point down. See it? That is an artist. You can recognize that. That makes a reflection. So here is the bottom line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is a seven-story building with a tidal wave coming over it. With orange sky, which is nuclear wind, you know, because it's burning. Uh, it's orange because it's a devouring wind. Now, let's go listen to a prophetic utterance the Lord gave me back in 2008. Okay, here we go. I'll tell you what it means. And after I prophesy, I'm going to go. And it's just fascinating. So let me just take a moment and pray, Lord. I pray that you'll just speak those words through me again so that these people can hear it and understand. And I'm praying that you give everybody that watches this video the eyes to see and the heart to understand and the ears to hear. So thus saith the Lord of hosts, behold, the hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you. And out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind. Water as high as the walls of Jerusalem shall cover the city by the sea. And great shall be the destruction of that city. And behold, the great wall which holds back the abundance of the rivers shall burst forth, bringing the hand of the oppressor against you, for I have seen it. For mighty is your enemy that is risen from within your own borders. Now behold the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing in the holy place where it should not be. Here is the mystery made known to you. You are the holy place of which I speak. And the abomination of desolation shall rise from within the walls of the temple to destroy the temple. For have you not seen and have you not heard and has it not been made known to you? Have you not read the scriptures? For when the sons of God came into the daughters of men, they did bear children to them. And the same became mighty men. And has not the sea turned mighty? And the sea shall turn terrible before your very eyes. And the terrible one shall be elevated within the sea. And behold, the man of peace shall come forth from the sea, Barack Hussein Obama. And with words of peace, he will bring chaos and destruction. Behold the fig tree. It puts forth its leaves, and suddenly the time is upon you. The travail begins, and a holy nation is to be born. It will not stop until that nation is brought forth. This is an appeal from God. It's 
very serious stuff. Um, a time of travail is coming. Um, the Bible talks about, you know, once the birth pains begin, that's it. It's just like a woman going into travail when she... Okay. 2008, before Obama was elected president. This thing sat around on a on a camera for a long time because I didn't even know how to use YouTube. And I had to have some teenager, this friend of mine's kid, cut it into 15-minute segments put on YouTube for me. Um, this isn't even the same channel that he put on. Let me show you. When I was talking about... Now listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna restate those words. Behold, the hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you, and out of the sea shall come fire and smoke, and a devouring wind. That's a nuke, folks. Water as high as the walls of Jerusalem will cover the city by the sea. That's a tidal wave. I you know I looked up a few years ago how wide the walls of Jerusalem were. And they are like 72 feet. I almost can't fell out of my chair because then I looked at the the ten dollar bill and it's a seven story building. I mean, you know, basically ten foot per story. I mean, you got to be kidding me, right? So anyway, so water as high as the walls of Jerusalem will cover the city by the sea, and great shall be the destruction of that city. Now watch. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you on the U.S. currency. Like I said, what you're about to see is just, humanly speaking, not possible. Look how rattled I was. I mean, I've been doing this a while now, you know, and I remember what it felt like back then trying to just get this out, how emotionally distraught I was. And I can remember what it was like. It sucked. It still sucks. It's the greatest thing in the world to do what I do. It's the worst thing in the world to do what I do. It's the way it is. But everything's possible with God. I'm going to show you the $10 bills. These are the $10 bills. Um, I want you to notice how the bill has changed. This $10 bill has a line around the oval right here. There's no longer a line around that oval. There's also now a new oval right here that's white. The color has been changed to orange. Let me show you. See, that's why they keep changing the design of the bills. Because if you got this older $10 bill, it's got this double line around this oval. Now look, I want you to look at these trees. Do trees grow like that? I mean, with tension going that way and then tension going that way? No. Why would you make a tree like that? You wouldn't unless you had an alternate uh, purpose for it. And, and that is because... It's supposed to represent a tidal wave. So when they created this new $10 bill, they took off this double line that went around this one. Because if there was a double line around this one, it wouldn't look like the top of a wave, kind of frothy, where, you know, there's no definite line. Waves do not have a definite line at the top. You know, it's a wave. And so they took the definite line off the top. So when you folded it in the shape of a pentagram, and turned it upside down, like Isaiah said, those who hide their plans turn everything upside down. So when you turn it upside down, you can see their plans. And the Lord gave me words that match that. And that's what's about to happen. So stay tuned. I'll show you something about trees. This is not a natural way for trees to look. And there's a very specific reason that this bill is made like this. And let me show you why. That prophetic utterance that I was just given to you and said, Behold, the hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you. Out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind. I want you to look at this image right now. First of all, I made a pyramid out of the bill. And now Isaiah said, Those who try and hide their plans turn everything upside down. Sorry. And so now I turn the pyramid upside down. Now I'm going to take that same image and put it here. What you're looking at is a nuclear explosion coming out of the ocean. Time and Newsweek magazine have said, well, I'm sure Newsweek, I've heard Time has, but I'm sure Newsweek has. They came out with a cover story that said there's going to be an offshore nuclear attack on a port city here in the U.S. The terrorists would put a nuclear device in the ocean, they would detonate it, and that would create a massive tidal wave. 
you're looking at it on the $10 bill. Here's the tidal wave coming over the building right here. Here's a representation of the nuclear. See, so look at look at the edge there of that tidal. If there's if there was if I took a pen and I draw drew a line there and another line on the outside, it wouldn't make a tidal wave. It wouldn't work. But they took the double line off because it gives it that frothy, wavy thing up top. That is absolutely a tidal wave. By the way, the Lord gave me words that describe it as well. So this is a no-brainer. Nuclear blast, and the sky is orange from nuclear radiation. Now, behold, the hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you. Out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and the devouring wind. Water as high as the walls of Jerusalem shall cover the city by the sea. Okay, I want to stop there because, listen, the $100 bill had not come out yet. Well, you know, imagine that, you know, I'd already had that prophetic utterance, and then the new $100 bill comes out. Let's take a look again at what happens on this bill. Okay, let's take another look about what happens. So, fire and smoke and a devouring wind let's watch you're gonna this see all of this all of this is going to turn to waves coming in from the watch this devouring wind in the ink mark those nukes and the layers down. watch and they're going to be destroying the city watch here it goes there it is see it see how that's a devouring wind wow check that out i'm a harbinger folks into the world harbinger it looks like the time has finally come. It's, it's, I mean, we're at the door. It's any seconds. This will be the kickoff point. Um, by the way, just while this jumped into my mind, there's someone that left a comment, a 12-year-old. Listen, I'm going to do a video uh, for you. I, I haven't forgot. I want you to know that if you can see these images and you understand that Satan and the fallen angels they turned everything upside down to make you a slave. As long as you can see the hidden world, then you're no longer a slave, are you? There you go. Okay, back to this. Here we go. That changed. See how it gets all fluffy? Devouring wind. Wow. And then water comes rushing through. So, I mean, this is just perfect. Perfect words to match both bills. I mean, man, look at that. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so now let's get off that and let's get back to this art project that's going on in Manhattan right now. And that they're saying, oh, by the way, the same guy that did, you know, uh, uh, let's see, the guy that did for the year's end counting sheep shepherds us to a soothing American mockery of expansive Wyoming landscapes. The film, see, isn't that interesting? The word uh, pastiche should not be used there at all because it look how they finished the sentence off of expansive Wyoming landscapes. Give me a break. Doesn't even make sense. They use the word pastiche to let us know that they're gonna mock the sheep. By the way, let me just show you some other sheep that are being mocked. Let's look at the largest altar in the world. Oh, wow. You mean like that big dead sheep? Isn't that crazy? I mean, I want you to look at that. That is a freaking dead sheep. Look at the enormity of that thing. Look at all God's angels going into this vortex. That window is the mouth of a freaking serpent on the outside. I mean, do you guys know how profound this stuff is? This is the Lord God showing you. It's not me showing you. I mean, can you imagine that he let you see that's a big dead sheep? And not only is it a big dead sheep, it's the female reproductive system. So the female rival is about to make the move on all of humanity right now. Here we go. For the year's end, counting sheep shepherds us to a soothing American mockery, blah, blah, blah. 
And it says, now, now a work with its origins in theaters spills out onto the streets and screens of Times Square, which is in New York, which is printed on the U.S. currency. Even as it immerses one of the world's ur most urbanized environments, give me a break. Look at the vocabulary. Really, even as it immerses one of America's most urbanized environments, even as it immerses. New York, I guarantee it. I prophesied it in 2007. It's on the 10, the Hoover Dam. It's, it's just insane. It's just absolutely. I guarantee it. I prophesied it in 2000. Okay, let's keep watching. Okay, so now, okay, I know I've been over this because I'm still trying to get myself, my brain to latch on to the enormity of what the Lord's letting me show you right now. Flocks of sheep, seven stories tall. Well, what are they talking about? Well, they're talking about, you see all these flocks of sheep on these billboards that are electronic. They're saying, well, there's seven stories tall on these buildings. That's not what they're talking about. They're talking about all these people that are going to be floating in the water is what they're talking about. Flocks of sheep, seven stories tall at the crossroads of the world. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Let's watch the guy's video. Listen to this guy's voice. Just listen. Wait. Okay. As I'm looking, I already saw something that's um, got my attention. Pay attention. The three minute video. You got one eye, and what's going is across it is backwards. Satan turns things upside down and backwards. It's backwards. Listen. Yo, that's part of me. Midnight moment in Times Square it begins in winter. It's a countdown, by the way. Look at what's going on. There is a countdown. It begins in so, winter. Coming down on the thousands of sheep in the stark fields of Wyoming. And we see the summer pastures with the many sheep crossing over the hills of the Bighorn Mountains. And then lastly, we follow them down back to the ranch as they trail through the red wall of Wyoming. So of course, sheep are herd animals. And as we see them up on the big screens, they mirror the mass of humanity around us in Times Square. This is an uh, art project? With large atmospheric projections, which is how I got into doing theatrical video design. And the opportunity to work on such a large scale in Times Square gave me an opportunity to present images that were starkly in contrast to the urban environment, to create what you might call digital lullabies for a city that never sleeps. When we think of a sheep in a herd, we can also think of community. We can think of how the many protect the one. The world seems to be shifting in very uncomfortable, dangerous ways. As we look onto a tradition that's been continuing for many, many thousands of years. Oh, look at that. Did you see what happened to the sheep? Uh, watch this. Many, many thousands. Oh, wow. That's not significant, is it? 
thousands of years. I hope that in the midst of the traffic, the crowds passing through Times Square, individuals find comfort, find peace in the community around them, that they can look up at the herds of sheep and feel one with them, feel the security of being among their neighbors and rethink our... So see how they faded the sheep onto the herds of sheep onto the herds of people? There you go. ...position in our moment in time. So I think of counting sheep as a guide towards meditation, towards peace. It is the largest coordinated effort by the sign operators and Times Square to display a synchronized cutting edge created content at the same time every day. Mm -mm. This is a mockery. It even says it. That's why you they use the word American mockery. That's why they use that word. Now, we have Jerusalem that's, you know, been voted on to divide it. This picture that you see on your screen should be all you ever need to see to know that the Lord God sent me to warn you. Look at that. Look at the enormity of this. It's a sheep. It's a sheep. Counting sheep, now a work with its or origins in theaters, spills into the streets and screens of Manhattan, Times Square, even as it immerses one of the world's most urbanized environments. I guarantee it. Don't know exactly the day it's going to happen, but that is going to happen. And so, there it is. Look at that. Yeah, the other times I've shown you this altar, I don't think people have gotten the idea how gigantic this thing is. And look at these guys laying on their stomachs. Look at these guys on their knees in front of a giant vagina that's upside down. And it's a dead sheet because this is where Satan gets his energy. Okay, well, I am I had to take a detour tonight on this. I'm sorry I couldn't deliver the folders. I'm going to get up tomorrow. And, I mean, I've just got to start cranking out folder after folder. And I'm just going to sit there and do them one at a time. I, I'm, I'm just going to go through them. This, I'm just going to say this is what this is. This is what this is. But i got to get this stuff out because we're out of time. Time's up. Time is up. This is it. Anyway, um, Jeepers Creepers. Wow, look at that. All right, folks, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, I've got so much on my plate right now. Y'all should pray for me that I can maintain without just, uh, you know, oh my gosh. It's, I mean, it's the greatest thing in the world. Like I said, this is the resurrection. <laughs> this is the resurrection of all our brothers and all our sisters, everybody that's died in Christ. And then it's also eternal damnation for all the others. So it's a very duplicitous burden. You know, it's, it's like the greatest thing in the world. It's the worst thing in the world. And I have to deliver it no matter what. The Lord told me, you must tell them. Okay. Anyway, it's coming. The time is coming. The time is coming. All right, I'll start delivering folders tomorrow. God bless you guys. Good night.